disc is formed from slate and engraved with Githyanki writing. It closely resembles the disc that Lazel deciphered. This time, the symbols easily resolve into coherent words and sentences. The story of Orpheus further unfolds. The Prince of the Comet, Part 3. The history... <laughs> Steering a boat is hardly a challenge. And this place is near a beacon in the darkness. Now, was there something else? I have plans in Baldur's Gate. The work of many years' labor that will finally bear fruit. Okay. You should look for me once we're in the city. The name Wolverine Bongle will be mentioned among many. I've little doubt. That's Iron Hand Gnome business. All right. You recall stories of the Iron Hand Gnomes, a talented group of inventors who were banished from Baldur's Gate. Do not speak of a story you only know the half of. We are inventors of the highest order, matched, perhaps, but never surpassed by the Gondians at the High House of Wonders. But our okay. forebears were foolish, complicit with Saravok's madness over a century past. And so, we were banished. We still are to this day. The very one. It's the only mistake the Iron Hand Gnomes ever made. And it cost us everything. All right. I have fought tooth and nail to restore our reputation. Particularly against the Gondian detractors who live in glass houses. Our return to Baldur's Gate will usher in a new era for the Iron Hand Gnomes. The realm deserves the benefit of our genius. <laughs> Did I not already? How remiss of me. Hey! <laughs> that should cover your services. Appreciate it. Okay. Yeah, why did he trick us? Ketherick's forces are infiltrating this place. You've got to take the fight to them. Good work rooting out the traitor. Alright, Zahira. The shadows haven't consumed you. Good. Should I tell him this? Gruesome, isn't it? I'm glad you survived the encounter at least. Did you learn anything more? The great general is paranoid. Good. That means he's protecting something. Okay. I'll wager it's the source of his invulnerability. He'd protect that at any cost. Was there anything else? Chosen? Oh, that's three masters Catherick has served. Our paladin isn't very picky. <laughs> he's aligned himself with mind flayers. But I cannot see what he gains. Perhaps we can force it out of him once we have him up against a wall. Was there anything else? You did well to help those people yeah, escape Catherick. Every soul saved is a blessing. And you're raining them upon us. Her breath catches. You yeah. notice a barely perceptible shudder run through her body. An unfortunate coincidence. I hope never to meet the wicked man who hemorrhaged shadows over this peaceful village. Almost laughable that he sees himself fit to judge anyone. Did you learn anything about how we might defeat him? That's fantastic. Well done. I'm glad you've made progress. Protecting this inn, well... It takes it out of you. I'll hold out as long as I can. By the sound of things, we'll have a more permanent solution soon. Mm -hmm. So glad you're on our side. Go on, then. It belongs to the goddess Shah. 
according to the Harpers, it fell here when they defeated Ketherick, the one who tried to have me kidnapped. I suppose they didn't defeat him quite hard enough. Huh. I could say the same. But perhaps we should save the trivia till we're on the other side of this thing. Promise not to die, and we'll celebrate with our life stories. Right place, right time. When a cleric of Saluna stumbles into a Sharon shadow, she's bound to set it to rights. At any cost. Moon and shadow. Light and dark. Divine sister. Sometimes life forces us to choose sides. Hanging on by one health. Did you enjoy relaxing here while I battled that wretched darkness? What were you thinking? I'm sorry, we got captured by murderous lunatics! I thought you were dead, you ass! Both of you! We're all safe, Roland. That's what matters. I was just overwhelmed. Doesn't matter. Yeah. I'm sorry. We should have been here. No, no, it's it's not your fault. I I shouldn't have shouted. I'm sorry. Thank you for saving me and the two idiots. Hmm. I've lashed out at you, drunkenly and otherwise, and you helped anyway. You didn't deserve that. I'm sorry. And thank you. You went out of your way to help us. It's only right you get something in return. Here. I hope it helps. All right. So that's done. Didn't we already speak to them? How? Thank you. I never thought I... Leah? I'm not the best at showing it. But I love Cal and Roland to death. They're family. I... Right? Fine. You're here! You're all right! How? We're two tiefling queens, remember? I couldn't leave my favorite bard without her partner in crime. Hey. I did have some help from an old friend, though. <laughs> How did you do it? If it was anyone else, I'd be skeptical. But you, you've more than earned the title. You should have seen him. He was brave, but also terrifying. In a good way. Uh. I, I never thought I'd see... Well, anyone again. Thank you. A thousand times, thank you. One last favor. Take this off my hands. It suits you better. Alright. Woo! Alfira thanked us for rescuing... Why are you smiling at me? A I'm friend from Unrest Towers. You receive... Uh -huh. Potent robe, uh, Gregarious caster. Your contrib is additional damage equal to your charisma modifier. Well liked and well fortified. At the beginning of your turns, the robe activates, granting them temporary hit points equal to their charisma modifier. The plan will go ahead, sir. We'll make sure of it. All right. The shadows haven't consumed you. Good. Let's see what she says. Do you? Well, let us not leave you in suspense then. You are right. She is. <laughs> because it isn't my tale to tell. And because in truth, I do not know the half of it. Only this. If she wished to see us drowned in darkness, Isabel needn't have lifted a finger. 
Instead, she holds out her hand. I choose to take it. I choose to trust. And not just because I have no other choice. Okay. Alright, let's go and see what the... Uh, what they are saying here, right? Basically. I still don't know where to find... So, Disciple Zarel is here. Uh, what's here? Uh, find the relic is there. Let's talk. Let's go and talk to Disciple Zarel, right? Study room. What's this? A little gift. Study. Let's check outside. Something good here, I hope. Zealot panel, echo like dine. Seen the view out west from the terrace? All those beasts camped under one banner. That's the absolute's power. The general's power. Mm-hmm. How about this? Hey, Trousseau. What's the word? Armies gathered outside. The general giving us marching orders. I have got faith. I just got sores from all the sitting around. <laughs> the wind is howling. <laughs> Reminds me of the witcher. Miss you from Kratrik. Quick and quiet. Aha. Lantern. There is this corpse. There is this human spellcaster. Protruding books. There is this metal door. Sensor. from slate and engraved with Githyanki writing. It closely resembles the disc that Lazel deciphered. This time, the symbols easily resolve into coherent words and sentences. 
the story of Orpheus further unfolds. The Prince of the Comet, Part 3. The histories tell us that Commander Voss, Gestil Kithrak, pierced Prince Orpheus clean through with his sword of silver, that his flesh was torn and fed to the great red dragon, Ephelaman. Vlakith's faithful roar out this tale, but beneath the roars we hear whispers carrying truth and prophecy. The Prince of the Comet is not dead. The Prince of the Comet will come again. The Prince of the Comet will liberate us from Vlakith's tyranny. Okay. Praise be to Mother Gith, Queen of the One Sky. Praise be to your son, Orpheus, the true heir, Prince of the Comet. The chapter ends there. This disc might be of some interest to Lazel. Gith thing. Something for Lazel, I suppose. Don't mind if I do. challenge. The necromancer was experimenting on the tadpoles. The kind of place moon lanterns are crafted, most likely. A broken moon lantern catches your eye, its glow now snuffed out. Okay. You see no burner or wick. It was not fuel that lit this lamp, but magic. This is pixie dust, used to illuminate a lamp, or left behind after a pixie's death. song is key to Kethrick's power. If we can find it, perhaps we can use it against him. Okay.
right? lever let's open that all right traveler's chest I mean sure Balthazar personal notes okay let's check here nothing Let's try it again. Should be fine. Okay, nice. Ooh. Let's open that up. Ooh. Who's that? Invasion plans potion. What kind of potion it is? Just potion. Okay. Invasion plans apostle diary. Uh, bones. There is something more here. of flesh the warhound is formidable spectral eyes meet yours as it growls a challenge and then it hesitates gleaming muzzles sampling your scent as if in recognition ooh <laughs> Try again. Ooh, it's a pretty high roll. Ooh. Okay, nice. The hound relaxes, clearly accustomed to this show of deference within its master's chamber. It turns away and utterly ignores you, as it would any lowly foot soldier. Well, that's nice. Elder brain domination. What? 
stole my weapon. So I can't use that. I guess that's the only thing I can do. One damage, really? Give me my weapons back. Let's lock pick that. Ooh. Absorb elemental damage once per short rest. Take half damage from the next elemental attack targeting you and deal an additional 1d6 element that element type on your letter to Catherick. Melodia. Why, okay. That's almost beautiful. Imagine what she'd think if she saw him now. Hmm. Well, hello. Let's take the. There is this heavy chest. Saloon's Let's devotee. See. All right. All right. What now? Ooh. All right. Let's see my inventory. All right. Let's go talk to that lady. Whatever that is, right? Radicha, Necromancer. Uh, this is the ornate door. General Thorm's prayers and preparations must not be disturbed. The rooftop is off limits to everyone. Even you, disciples, Rel? Everyone. Keep watch and ensure that nobody passes. 
Excellent timing, true soul. Mm-hmm. The goblins. Tell me how they suffered. No. Better yet. Show me. Her mind enters yours abruptly, flickering across your memories in a blaze of excitement. She sees the goblins walking free, and a burning rage fans across your mind like wildfire. Explain yourself. What do you mean? Let's do that. All right. Very pragmatic, but very boring. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything interesting in this brain of yours. She parts the folds of your mind again, touching your wants and hopes, tasting them. Every emotion soaks into her mind's palate. But there is purpose to her exploration. She is searching for proof of your faith. Uh. Fake it. Let's fake it. Deception. Nice. There is a tremor of shared ecstasy as she finds a mirror to her own desire. Perfect. You crave what all true souls should, to be touched by the absolute. I have already been blessed to stand in her presence. It was bliss. She gave me everything I wanted. Mm-hmm. Hmm, why not? What's the point in power if you don't get to have a little fun every now and again? She gave me the power to cut the thread of life with a thought. Mm -hmm. Whoa! But I can caress as well as cut. That's why you should stay on my good side. And the best way to do that is to serve General Thorn. Okay. I have a mission for you. That's it. Play along. The closer you can get to the general, the closer you'll be to the answers you seek. 